With six weeks of verge makeovers behind us, Daz and I are pumped to be starting our school gardens. Our first school is Canningvale Primary in Perth's southern suburbs. They've got a fantastic vision for the role a productive garden can play in the life of their school kids, and we're excited to be a part of it. Guess I better go find Daz, but not before a game of handball. <laughs> Daz, the first of our school gardens. I know you're excited about this, mate. Absolutely, Nico. I think it's fantastic to get kids involved in gardening, especially edible gardening, teach them where the food comes from. It's a really positive thing. Couldn't agree more with you, mate. But before we jump into it, I'm going to have a chat to a couple of the teachers. OK, no worries. Uh, how's the game of handball go? What game? Neil and Marianne, thank you for having us at your school today. My pleasure. It's an absolute delight to have you and your team here, Mark. We're ecstatic to be here. Now, you have a big area set aside for a productive garden. You must have a lot of faith in the value that this type of activity has for your kids and the wider school community. Marianne is our science coordinator and has been our science coordinator for, for a number of years. And we've dreamt of the idea of having what we call a learning garden here. And the challenge that we've had is we've had no room. But thanks to the federal government putting in some new buildings, uh, we had this area covered in transportable classrooms. Now they've gone we have a fantastic space here to work with. And we're looking forward to our students participating in the development of the garden all the way through. It's going to be a long-term project, but thanks to the competition, yep. we're about to start and yep. everyone is motivated. And we're looking forward to getting them involved too. Don't worry about that, Marianne. Sounds Thank great. Thank you. This is a fair-sized area of unused land. It's a good 200 plus square metres. And the school's first thought to use it edible gardens, but they have a long-term vision that also includes rainwater tanks, worm farms, even chooks. What we're going to do today is set up some raised veggie beds, plant a few fruit trees, it'll get the ball rolling for them. All I have to do is keep Nico out of that playground. Growing fruit and veggies is a really practical life lesson for kids. They'll be able to see the value of cooperation and shared goals and will grow to understand how an investment of time and effort can lead to great rewards later on and a growing and evolving school garden like this is also a fantastic way to involve the wider school community in day-to-day -day school life. These colour bond beds are made locally by rainfill tanks and they're ideal for growing veggies and herbs. They'll take an absolute truckload of our super rich garden soil and they're at a great working height. No more bending your back or working on your knees. I'm just waiting now for Mark to fill them up and we're good to go. Could be waiting a while. The beds are laid out in a nice neat row and are spaced out enough to allow sufficient working room. You should be able to get a good sized wheelbarrow between them. This means topping up the soil and mulch and removing bumper harvest will be no drama at all. We all know the saying, you are what you eat. Well, the same is true of the plants we eat. If they're grown in poor, nutrient deficient soil, the end produce will also be poor and nutrient deficient. So the soil is critical. And this mix is absolutely ideal. The veggie mix, as well as the pea straw, are from the Green Life Soil Company and both are ideal for all edible crops. The soil mix is certified organic, so you can be 100% confident it's free of heavy metals, pesticides, and any other of the nasty contaminants that you want nowhere near your food crops. As we're filling up the beds, we're also wetting down the soil. This makes a lot more sense than trying to get the soil wet once the beds are full. Now, if you've got a small project, you can buy this soil mix in bags, but for a big job like this, bulk is the only way to go. Come on, Nico. But of course, bulk supply is only the way to go when you've got a competent machine operator to move it. And this is why I wouldn't let you use the rotary hoe. I can see this coming. This ready-to-use veggie mix contains minerals and clay, which help with water and nutrient retention and beneficial microbes with a food source for them. The microbes help make nutrients available to the plants, and this encourages stronger growth, which is more disease and pest resistant. So your veggies will be even easier to grow. The Green Life Soil Company is a finalist in the 2011 WA Environment Awards in the Leading by Example category. They've been pumping out high quality soil mixes that have been designed especially for Perth's unique conditions for 10 years now. That gives me a lot of peace of mind, which is really important when you're growing edible plants. 
Nico, the beds are all filled. They're really starting to look good, but I just want to add a bit more magic to the soil. I'd have been surprised if you didn't, Daz. We'll dig in some sand remedy and some blood and bone. Plants will just explode when they go in. I'll start here, mate. You can head down that way. OK. Adding sand remedy to this already rich and vibrant soil will take it to another level. It will increase water holding capacity and make sure the soil doesn't become water repellent. The blood and bone will provide a valuable source of nutrients over a long period. Both of these products are natural, organic and perfectly suited to growing luscious, delicious, edible crops. Playing football at the highest level demands a lot from your body. You need to take care of yourself and diet is massively important. One of the keys is lots of fresh veggies. How's this for a range? There's everything you could possibly want, but there's so much to plant and I could really do with some helpers. Sweet. The Swan Valley Nursery range of herbs and veggies is extensive, and this will mean there are lots of different flavours and tastes for the kids to try. And this will help keep their interest levels up and may just open up a whole new world of food for them. OK, that's so the herbs and veggies are almost in, thanks mostly to the kids. Now, when we did our verge makeovers, you always made us mulch. Is it the same here? Absolutely, Nico. Same rules apply. We have to protect our soil to get the best of our plant and to save water. Today, we're using pea straw. It's absolutely ideal for veggies and herbs. By applying a 100ml thick layer of pea straw to these veggie gardens, we will be significantly cutting evaporation from the soil and greatly moderating soil temperatures through the warmer months. And when the beds are ready to replant next season, the pea straw can be dug in to enrich and improve the soil. Brilliant. While we get this done, here's a look at what's on 7 News tonight. <laughs> 